Yeah, I'll go first. I like going first now. I got a mulligan. Wow, that's a bad hand. Oh, well, I mean, if I had Charmander and Charmeleon, it wouldn't be, but right now it is. So I'm going to give this guy eight cards on a psychic deck. Possible psychic deck. People like to use different things, decks. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not mad about it. Um, Got two. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. Uh, I'm going to put that out. See, I hate it because of boss's orders. They, they can just switch me out. But if somehow he comes up with some way to kill my Celebi and Venusaur, then and I have nothing else, then it's a win. I don't like to have nothing on the bench. And if I'm going to have something on the bench, it's good to have that because, I mean, there's a lot of ways to get energy on him. Then I got to put Pidgey there so that I can get my Pidgeotto. I guess we'll see. <clears throat> Alright, so now I have the energy curve on my side. I can get Pollen Hazard. If I can get Pollen Hazard started, then we're in a good spot. I don't like that this guy here. He's a beast. Is he resistant? Yeah, he's resistant to grass too, but he's not resistant to poison, paralyze, and burn. I don't think. Ooh, there we go. There's our card draw. Let's see. Let's see here. Airmail. That's what I am talking about. We can do that. We can place it. Use it. Discard Charmeleon. Put out two fire. Place this guy here. And we're already set up for next turn to start doing some damage. We're in a good spot. He's in a good spot too, though. I don't know what all of these cards have. But. I guess we'll see. These psychic deck, man. They can be they can be kinda sketchy. Let's see, once during your turn, if this Pokemon's on your bench, you may discard a stadium card and play. Ooh. He could get rid of it if he retreats. It's only one cost. But then he got rid of his bench. He's just using it as a buffer. I don't know if he even read his power. His ability. So I would use it against me. Well, I don't know. A lot of abilities. Top three cards. Luckily, I don't think any of those were what he was hoping they would be. It's air mail. Uh, nothing really great here. Get another Venusaur just in case. But we are in position. We are in position. Let me grab two more fires. Just for the lulls. Not even just for the lulls. Because I want to have enough to start building him up this turn. Now we start wrecking. <clears throat> when the coin flip, he's dead. Put something else out. That's what I'm looking for right there. Oh, Pokemon Center is going to fix this problem. What is poisoning me, though? Was it an inner? What is this? Pokemon time. Seven in his hand. Okay. What gave him that ability? I don't know. He must have played something. He's playing a lot of cards over there. He's playing a lot of cards over there. Uh oh. Didn't do anything. He wanted to. Wow. That is broken. That is fucking broken, man. I do not like it. Man, that's broken. Now 
Now he's gonna use his ability to get seven cards in his hand. And whenever I kill it, any of those are metal, they go on to him, they weren't. Boss's orders. Oh, that was what good game for me. He gave up. See, now there was a lot of stuff going on in that game. But my simple deck was just able to overcome it just from being strong. I was just brute forcing. That's kind of the idea. Three wins. Uh, let's go from here. We got a day and 23 hours to get this card. To get from here to here. We can do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight. I have a raid in an hour. Philip Dillip. I win again. Yeah, I'll go first. <sighs> All right. We can do something with this because we do have the furnace and the cherish ball. If we didn't have the cherish ball, we'd be in some trouble. He's fire, so I'm gonna go with grass. Ah, uh, I don't wanna let him use the hearth. He's fire, so I would go with fire. I almost did that wrong. That's dumb, I said grass. We are going to retreat. Because I want to take damage to start with. You know what? We are going to weld. We're going to weld. We'll get rid of this. We'll put that in that. That'll give us three energies per turn. Or in the beginning turn. If he does any damage to me at all, I can use that to strengthen Outrage. And then another turn for another energy. And we do have Pokemon Center Lady waiting in the wings. So what are we going to do, Volcanion? Search your deck for energy. Attach it to your Pokemon. If, it's, if, you, if you go second in your first turn, search for three. This attack does 60 more damage. It'll kill him. It'll kill him. If he does that, that's fine. I won't even be mad about it. I'll just kill him on the first turn. And then... He has no basic. That could be a win. This could be a win right here. Just from him. Oh, mm, tag call. Let's see that Rush Ram Charizard hit that table. Because that's what his deck box is. Rush Ram Charizard, just like I have. There, he, there they are. There's the boys. And he's got the same ability with the Giant Hearth as I do. But let's see. Does he have Welder in his hand? Maybe. Maybe he does. Now it's just about um, who can get priority. Are you going to retreat? Firestarter. And he's going to put the energy on. Okay. So he doesn't even need Welder. And that'll give him priority too. Oof. This is looking, this is looking way different than what I expected it to look like. I'm kind of scared. What does this do if this one has three extra energy attached to it? It does 100 more damage. That could kill one of them. And right now, he can't kill me. I could kill one of them. So let's fucking roll the dice. He 
He's gonna switch out and do a lot of damage. But I can do the GX move next turn. I can weld this onto him, kill him with a giant GX. I'll be alive. And then I can hit him with Outrage on the next one. That's if his second one doesn't kill me. But that's that's assuming he has the energy to do it. He might want to try to keep the Volcano alive just so that he can, he can do that again. Oh no, that only works one turn. We're not out yet. We're not out. He can use this to get energy and start working on it. But if I can kill the first Reshiram Charizard without him killing me, I can win this potentially. It'll be close. It'll be close. Let's see. He's thinking. She's thinking. It's thinking. What is going on, Philip? You got a female avatar. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Skipped turn. Skipped turn. He wants me to do it. He wants me to do it. Use my GX so that he can see what's going on. We're going to flare strike. He's going to attack. Then I'll weld. Yeah, I don't. I don't want him to know that I'm gonna. I'm gonna weld. I want him to think that I can't. So I have the energy to still weld my GX move. So we're still in a good spot. He can hit me for two. Jesus Christ! If he does it, if he flare strikes me, I can just outrage him. And win, I think, right? Because that's 230, 260. Oh, it won't kill him. I'll still have to GX, and then he'll just have the one Charizard rush around left. I can heal, and then 230, and he won't have the energy left to beat me. So, unless he welds right now, I think I might have it. Maybe. And boy, whew, imagine I get boss's orders or something. All based it from your hand to your bench Pokemon. Alright, so he's working on it. He's he's already thinking that I'm going to kill this guy. Or he's just being... What? Oh, he used my furnace. Okay, that's good. That would have been a bad deal. The Pokemon catcher could have been a bad deal. It would have given me priority though. I think that's why I didn't do it. There's the flare strike. I'm just 10 points from killing him without using the welder. But with the welder? That's my plan. Let's see how it goes. I get three. He still has to kill two of mine. One more kills me. Then Pidgeotto comes out. Wait, I didn't die? Okay. Okay. That might have been a little... Yeah! <laughs> That's how you win a game right there. That's how you do it. Oh, man. That was brutal. That was a brutal game. Woo! That's one. That's one I'm glad that's that's on Twitch that I'm recording. Oh, man. That was fun. <clears throat> Hell, yeah. Man, I thought he had me. And it was a risk playing that furnace because I knew he could get energy. But if the if the if the numbers just didn't work out, like it it, it just came down to the the numbers. Like I think even if I'd have gone second, I might have lost that. That was a good game. Another Char. See, this is why I have a Charizard deck. It's because everybody's playing it. It's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. 
We do have a good we do have a good start here. We have enough for outrage. And we have our Pidgeotto card draw. We can even start building another Charizard if we wanted. So this is a good start. This is not bad. Oh man. What is this? This Volcanion. It's the second time I've seen him. He's going to do the ghost second, add energy onto this guy. Ugh, we well, got to stress me out. It's starting out already. It's all right. We'll just do to them like we did before. Hopefully. Got two Vs out, man. You just fill your whole deck full of these V cards, man. Just not a huge fan of the idea. And then I'm going first. Second? I'm going second. I guess I lost the coin flip. I see. So I could have attacked. But I can't evolve. It's kind of a bummer. Firestarter. Yeah, he's going to use that. That's why he should have went... Yeah, he should have went second. If he had the ability to choose, why wouldn't he go second? I don't know. Especially seeing Volcanion in his opening hand. I would have gone second for sure. It's whatever though. Oof, look at that Charizard. We've got Charizard on turn three. That's pretty neat. Do this. Put some damage on the board and start from there. Now what we need to do is get some more energy. Uh-oh. I forgot Reshiram. Damn, he's already got Reshiram out. And he's got more energy than me. What? Has he got a good deck? I do not have a deck that strong. He's only got two cards. So what's he going to do? What's he going to do with them? I guess we'll see. I'm not, I'm not confident in this one, man. We got to get some really good card draw. We really need a... I mean, if I get a furnace, it's good for him too, man. I don't know. I guess we'll see how this blue D cough, blue cough. I think he's got me this turn or this game. We got air mount. That's good. That's what we need. I mean, there's no reason not to at this point. I think we're looking at a loss unless something crazy happens. Well, he gave me the furnace, so I didn't have to. Which is good, because now I'll be able to get the energy I need for the next ability, the Flare Strike. And I can heal, and then I can do more. So now do I, do I stall and kill this Volcanion slowly or do I speed it up? Don't know. I don't know. I guess I can use the GX move next. And then I'll have Flare Strike up for a second. So I guess let's just get into it. I don't know, man. That's probably wasn't my best move. So he hits me with a GX for 200. And then, yeah, so he's got priority on this too. Not much I can do here. Wow, this guy, man. This guy's got the cards to play the deck. This is what... His deck is what my deck should be. Given the amount of... I, I bet he never uses this. Well, maybe he does. That's pretty good, actually. Hmm... 
Not gonna lie. Don't know what I'm. I don't know how I'm gonna do anything here. That's not a bad card to get. Not a bad card to get at all. I can get rid of that. I can put it out. That was a misplay. I probably, if I'd have thought about it, I could have used Outrage to kill this and gotten three cards. That was brutal. So the only thing I can do is get Welder. That's not impossible. Was crazy. I don't think I can win, but that was crazy. Boss's orders. <gasps> I got a boss's orders. I can win this. I can win this. Two ten. Two ten. The stadium can't do it. Gotta be Torkoal. If he has a switch, he wins. If he doesn't... What does that do? Wouldn't he have played it already if he had it? I think I just won. I think I just won. I won the game. Oh my god. That was one hell of a game. Holy shit. Oh, man. That's crazy. Damn. 
That was crazy, man. Woof. That was fucking good. What time? How much time we got left? 8:30. I got time for more. Man, that was a good game. That was fun. <laughs> that was good. Can you imagine? Look, another Charizard deck. It's Charizard all day. Um, heads. Let's just stick with heads. Second's fine. Oh, man. Or first. I don't know. Yeah. He's going to go first. Alright. Um, this is weak. This is weak, but we can do something with it. Man. That was a good game, dude. I cannot believe how that turned out. Oh, grass? Okay. That's what's up. And this takes two for slash. That's 60 damage after a 10, so he'll die. Another bell sprout. I guess he's trying to build to a victory bell for something. I'm not sure what victory bell has that makes him such a good card, but I guess we'll see. Oh, man. That last game was intense. Hey, now. It's a one retreat cost for Charmander and Charmeleon. I want to get him out as soon as possible. Let's get him out as soon as possible. Early game will be a good time to get out. I get two outrages down. He's dead next turn uh, or two turns from now. Uh, if he stay, he's not going to stay at Bell Sprout. Oof. I don't know how I'm going to focus on this game, man, after that last one. Confused? I don't want to be confused. Victory belt when you play Spokemon and Bomb Point. Burns. That's what it's for. You may make your opponent. Alright, when you play this Pokemon from your hand, you ball one. Oh, hey, that's pretty good, actually. And then he Marnied us, which is not a bad call because of that. Cricketune. Alright, there's a lot more grass in this uh, deck than I expected there to be. I'm going to take a little damage uh, on the on the switch. I don't have any... Oh, okay, that's kind of bad. Don't have any fire energy. He's doing a lot back there, man. Let me have a turn. Let me play. Let me play the game. Lucky egg, too, with this guy. I might even take two hits. Alright, we got rid of the burn, that's good. We'll put this here. I can switch, man. Get rid of all that. I'm gonna let him have one more turn of poison, though, before I get rid of it. We need fire. That's what we need. We need fire energy. We need one. This is one thing I don't like about card games, man, is when people just go out of their way to just show off with all this. All right, his bench is full. We got fire. We're doing all right. But yeah, they just go out of their way to show off with the amount of cards they can play per turn. Like, that's going to scare me or something. We're going to put that there. We're going to heal. Uh, I don't even need to do anything else. I mean, it's that simple. Like, there's his weakness. He plays something else out. Now, what he can do again is put another weeping bell out if he when after he switches out, which will be annoying, no doubt. But it is what it is. Oh, okay. 
90 for each special condition of protecting your opponent. Oh, so like none then. That's a good card to play though with Weaving Bell. That's awesome. If I hadn't used that uh, Pokemon Center, like, that would have been a bad call. He's going to re... Oh, look at him. And then he's going to hit me with that. Uh, I'm playing against randoms online right now. This is this like the original game. This is the actual game. Like these are all cards that I've collected in real life, and uh, you get code cards every time you buy a booster pack or a theme deck, and you can redeem those online. And uh, you can then put decks together based on all that. Wow, this guy's good, man. Okay, so. I gotta keep putting energy. I have this will kill him if I get heads. That's what I wanted. I get to draw a card. I get to start building another Reshiram, Ram, which is nice. And I have Weld, so if I can get a Furnace, then I can come back. Look at him, man! Just continuously poisoning, poisoning, poisoning. Uh, where do the cards come from again? Um, well, like, you can get them from booster packs that you buy in real life. You get the little code card inside every booster pack, and you can redeem them online for a booster pack online. You can use that to build a deck. You also get them from pre-constructed decks. Like, I bought a Blastoise deck and a Venusaur deck. They're like nine bucks at Walmart. Uh, if you can find them, you probably find them on Amazon or eBay now. And then you can redeem that in the game, too. And then you'll have that deck, the whole deck, plus a code. I mean, yeah. From the code card that you get then you can use that to build cards i think i lost i think i lost this one let's put charmander out there that this guy's going ham bro like that's good that's some good shit. all right let's put that out there what can i get Ooh, don't need either of those Choose a card to discard. Yeah, I'll get rid of the hearth. Grab two energies. Um, I've had this this uh, I've been playing this game since 2010 though, and collecting cards for longer than that. So I've had a lot of code cards, and I then just when I get cards, I just add them. You can also buy the code cards online, and then the game itself you can earn cards with just playing the game. Man, I'm s I don't know what I'm gonna do here. This is this is brutal. I've been doing good all the way up until this guy. I think this was my fourth or fifth win. Or would have been. My deck is hella simple compared to this guy. I don't even think I have this in my collection. But after seeing how this works, I kinda want it. Kinda want it. That's it, man. Pidgeotto goes out. He's not even a Pokemon I'm supposed to fight with. What's my draw? I'll have one Pokemon card left. I guess let's play it out. See how it goes. Discard one to get two. Hopefully I can get a grass energy to pop up. Man, the last game I played was insane, man. I think I'm going to chop this up and make a YouTube video out of it. Because I've had a couple of games in here that I thought I was over. And I'd come back from nothing to win. Or at least I was down in cards. <laughs> One of your opponents bench with their active. Alright, then he's gonna do this. This guy was gross. This guy was nasty. He just shit all over me. Alright, well, let's play again. Hopefully, we don't run into that guy again. Holy crap. You win some, you lose some. 
Uh oh. Now I'm going against Beast Brian. We're gonna pick heads like we always do. Yeah, you saw me lose, bro. Like, I had like four wins before you just came in. Yeah, I'll go first. Another Charizard deck box. Let's see how this guy plays. Alright, we've got a good start here. Um, the only thing bad is that I have to play Venusaur first. And I don't have any energy to back him up. But we do have Pidgey and Pidgeotto, so that's good card draw. So we'll put Pidgey there. We're going to leave Venusaur in my hand because I don't want him switching after I get some energy cards. He could switch me. That would be brutal. But I can switch myself too. Let's see. So what I'm expecting to see is this guy will probably have Welder. And he'll probably have Furnace. Here we go. Let's see. What's this do? This card has 30 HP more. And then he used Poke Gear, top seven reveal supporter, put it in your hand. I've been playing for a little while now. I don't an hour and thirty minutes. I've won more than I've lost. I think I've lost like two games, two or three games. Maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. But I've won more than that, so okay, so Marnie makes us both shuffle our hands and I get less back and he gets more. But I'm not mad about it because I needed both of these energies. And I can use Welder to put them on there, so. Well, actually, I can only weld fire energy. That's fine. That is okay. We need one more grass. Ah, uh, sketchy. I wanted my Pidgeotto. I don't have it now because he just got rid of it. That's okay. I've got plenty of cards to draw that are good. So hopefully we draw one of them. I mean, I'd be good with a Marnie. I'll, I'd be good with a Furnace. I'd be good with a Grass Energy, even. Building up a Vulpix over there. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, we got our grass energy. So I can play that on him. And then I can weld this onto him, which is... And that'll give me more card draw. I can play this out. And then I can... I don't want him to do that. Because that's 180 damage. And then I actually I can heal that. Okay, so we're good. We're good. We'll solar beam. He'll hit me for 180 damage maximum next turn. And then I can heal it all with one more grass energy. Then I gotta deal with this. Your opponent's affected by specialist does 90. <gasps> Just like that other guy's cards. Wow. He's preparing to lose this. Alright, I'll get two cards out, and then I gotta deal with that. Good to know. This guy's preparing to lose it. We still got Evergreen GX. That heals me full. So unless he kills me in one turn, which I'm not saying is impossible, it's just not likely. I can come back with a 180 and kill him. What did that do? Cycles. Ooh. All right. Luckily, I have Pokemon Center, so now I can definitely attack. He's not expecting me to be able to attack. But I can. And that kills him, and I win the game. Boom. And that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Hell yeah, man. It was looking a little touch and go for a second there. Just for a second. We got it figured out. We got it figured out. I didn't understand anything, to be honest. I mean, okay, I can explain it a little more in detail in this next round we play. Uh, this guy's got a fire electric deck. So, you get down here 
is your um, bench Pokemon. You get five Pokemon on the bench and one Pokemon to fight with. Um, you flip to see who goes first. The Pokemon you fight with is the, I mean, it's out and then you're battling 1v1 until it dies. Then you switch it out with something in the bench. So to start with, you have to have a basic Pokemon. I have two basic Pokemon here and here. See how it says basic in the top left? That means I can play this hand. If I didn't have anything that said basic, I wouldn't be able to play this hand. So I gotta play Charmander because I wanna use Pidgey for his ability. This is an app or internet browser. Uh, it's both. You can play it. Like I was playing it on my uh, iPad last night, but I'm on my computer right now. Uh, they have to mulligan because they didn't have a basic. So. I'm going to get to draw one extra card because they didn't have a basic Pokemon in their hand. So you have you fight with your main Pokemon and you build up your bench. So when your main Pokemon dies, you switch out with something on your bench. Some Pokemon, you'll see I won't switch out with like Pidgeotto because he has an ability where it says ability there. Once during my turn, I can look at the top two cards on my deck, put one in my hand and one on the bottom of my deck. I just use that to be able to get through my deck to find stuff I need. So I never play with Pidgeotto. Do I want to draw a card because he had to mulligan? Yes. Welder's a good card. And you can use these at any point. Any uh, Anything that says trainer on them, you can use them at any point on your turn. Um, you can only use one supporter card on your turn though. But you can use as many items as you want. And stadium changes the field. So he just used that item to look at the top seven cards. No, he flipped a coin, and if he got heads, he can search his deck for a Pokemon, show it to me, and then play it. I guess he got tails? No, he got heads. So he's also playing with the Reshiram Charizard that I'm playing with. Right now, I'm going to say it's not looking great. Because I don't have any of my GXs, and I'm not building them up. But he now has not only a V, but he has a GX as well that he can start building up. And if I use Hearth, he's going to gain from it, not me. Ugh, I don't like this at all. Let's see what we can work out. And I still need a Charmeleon to get my Charizard. <sighs> Here we go. I gotta do it. So I get to discard one card, and then I get two energies. And uh, I can put those in my hand. I can also use Welder to attach those energies if I want. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. But that's what this did. This is a stadium card. So technically we're in like a, a blacksmith area right now. I changed the field to that. And I guess I'll just do nothing. It's only my first turn. Yeah, we can play against each other. So like you build a deck, I build a deck, then we play against each other. And... That would be amazing. Um, I've played Christian in this game. Almighty Taco. I have played him once uh, a bunch of times. Well, I say once. We played a bunch of rounds. And I don't remember who was winning and losing back then. It was a while ago. It's like in 2016 we played. And then like I played a lot then. And then I think I stopped playing up until just like a, like a few weeks ago I started playing again. So I've got a lot of outdated cards. Luckily... They're still in standard. There's different formats you can play. Uh, if you're playing versus, though, you play standard. And those are cards that are all tournament legal. So this deck I could take to a tournament today and play with it. I actually I don't think I'd do too bad either. It's 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 been doing alright. It's got h higher than a 50% win rate. Alright, there's Charmeleon. We needed that. So now we can go for Charizard. Which would be nice. Since it's out, might as well use it. Discard a card. Oof. I need Charizard, so I can't discard that. I want the energy so I can weld. Guess we gotta get rid of a Pokemon Center Lady. Oops. Choose two cards. This one and this one. Then we'll weld them both. 
on there because that's the ability. Now I can use flamethrower. Oh, and I can use GX ball, cherish ball. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I can use this to find a Pokemon to put onto my bench, this guy. We not out of there yet. We are not out of there yet. Hit him for 80 and now it's his turn. You get 60 cards per deck. And you can have as many trainers as you want, as many energies as you want, as many Pokemon as you want. It's good to get a good balance. At the beginning of this uh, stream, I went over my deck, what I had in there and all that stuff. I can kind of go over it again or show you again later. Or you can check out the YouTube video whenever I put it up. Um, just to kind of give you a rundown on how the decks work. So like these two Pokemon are fighting right now. And I'm going to start building these up on the bench. So that when one of these dies, I can switch it out with something on the bench that's hopefully built up strong enough to do some good damage. I have another welder, so I'm going to weld more energy onto Reshiram and Charizard so that when he's ready to play, he's fully energized. Look at this guy. All right, he's using Pokemon Center Lady. That's a cool card. I'd like to have that. Alrighty then, uh, let's check my top two cards. Marnie's a good card. We're going to grab that. Then we're going to use... We're going to get rid of Pidgeotto because I already got one. I'm going to get two more energy cards. We're going to play one energy card on to him. Then we are going to weld the other two onto him. So I'm building up this Charizard for if this one dies. And when I do that, I get some more cards. But we're gonna leave these guys in my hand because I don't want him switching me to them. I have a Pokemon Center Lady. That's good. So I can heal. Now I'm a Charizard GX. So now I can one-shot this guy, which is nice. That's what we'll do. We'll flamethrower him. Now it's his turn. So he's probably gonna play that card back there that he's been building this guy. If this card's an energy card, it does 9 damage, 90 more damage. So he could do 180 damage potentially to me if he gets an energy card on the top of his deck. Otherwise, it's 90. Unless he gets 2 more energy, then he can make me discard energy from my Pokemon. Okay, so he's stalling. Um, this Pokemon has no energy on him. And he's not really a threat. So he's stalling using this guy so he can build him up all the way. So he can do the 120 and get rid of two of my energy cards. That's that's stressful. But it's fine. Because if he does that, then I can just come out with this guy. If I got a switch, I could switch him out. How do you win? Um, we have prize cards see he has six I have five if I take all my prize cards I win the game to take a prize card I have to kill a Pokemon every time say I've killed one of his Pokemon so now I have five left these represent how many Pokemon he has six Pokemon like in the game so if I kill all six of his Pokemon I win the game I've killed one I have five more but some cards are worth more than one Pokemon switch that's what I want so now I can I can play some shenanigans on this guy. Um, yeah, if I don't have cards to draw, I lose the game. If he takes all his prize cards, I lose the game. And if he kills my Pokemon and there's nothing to switch out with, I lose the game. There's three ways to lose. Let's grab some energy. We'll get rid of a Venusaur. Strangely enough. This is for extra. If he Marnies me, that's going to suck. I could put an in Well, I can't now. We'll do this. I've killed one of his Pokemon. I take one of my prize cards. And now he has to put one of these guys up. Alright, so now he's going to go for that. So he's going to do 120 and take two of my energies off. Now would be a great time to have a welder, but I don't. So he's putting all his bets, he's betting all his, his game on this card right here. It's not a bad call, to be honest. And then takes two of my energies. He gets to pick. He'll take two fire. 
that money. Yep, there they go. So now I can't use my ability. So what I'm going to do is hopefully there's a welder. There's not. It's just a grass energy. All right. But since we have switch, we can do 200 plus damage to him. And he can attack me. So I've got a pretty good shot here. We'll switch. We'll use... We'll put another energy on him. That'll give me priority when I come back. Yeah, I've still got another switch. And he's dead. I did 230 damage with that flame strike, flare strike. I can't use it twice in a row. Oh, but he's got 20. Oh, see, he put that on there. This gave, giving 50 more HP. So he's still got 20 HP left on this guy. Wow. Or he's still got a little more. He had 50, so he's got 30 left. Now he's building this, but he's only got two cards in his hand. I'm pretty confident at this point because if somehow he gets rid of the energy on this, next turn I can build him back up. I can kill him with just a flamethrower, and then I can start building him back up. I'm pretty confident, but we'll see how this goes. So right now he's going to attack me and get rid of two of my energy on this, which is fine. That'll let me still use the Outrage ability. And it does 10 more damage for each 10 damage that's on me. So if he does 120, I'll be able to hit him right back for 150. Yeah. So now I can hit him for 150. That'll kill him outright. So I could essentially leave him out. Huh. Yeah, we're still looking pretty good, actually. I am not mad about this. So here's what we'll do. We'll put energy on him. We'll use airmail. We'll get bosses orders. That's kind of brutal. Not gonna lie. Then we will use... Yeah, he, can't, he doesn't have enough energy to kill me. We'll do this. We will use Outrage. We'll kill him. I'll get two more cards. And then he has two Pokemon left. I get two because he played a V card. Pokemon V count for two Pokemon instead of one. So now he has two Pokemon left. This is his best bet. He might play these guys to stall for time, but he's only got one card in his hand. Things are looking good for me. But can I pull it out? It's 9.05. I think this will be my last game. <sighs> Let's win it. So I'm going to switch. And if I kill him, I win the game. This guy does 300 damage. Now, with his GX does 300 damage. You can only use a GX one time a game. And then, it's, then you can't use it again. I'm gonna make you think that I've got. I'm scared. Oh, that's good, Welder. And I haven't lost a Pokemon yet. I have not lost a Pokemon yet. I'm gonna heal this guy. Then I'm gonna switch and win the game. But first, um, let me use this. We'll discard this. We'll grab one. Oh, there's only one fire energy left. Rip. Put it on him. I will switch with this guy. I'll use Flare GX. And I'll win the game right then and there. Hell yeah, that's hype as fuck, bro! <laughs> that's a win. And so, when you play this game, I did a thousand dam- a thousand forty damage with this Charizard. 
uh, didn't flip the coin to win to get any heads at all. Usually heads is the uh, identifier for like abilities and stuff like flip a coin and do this to this Pokemon. So these are the decks that I have that are currently available to play in versus standard. Um, this is the one I played, my Venusard. And this is what it looks like. Um, these are all the cards that are in the deck. Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Venusaur, uh, Celebi and Venusaur, Reshiram and Charizard, and then our trainers. And I went over what all of them do. And then our energies. And then you can look at them in a different way if you want. I have different deck boxes from my collection. You get different deck boxes by buying different stuff. And then different card sleeves. Um, yeah. So we went, this is first tier, this is second tier, we're in third tier, we almost got our Vivid Voltage packs, we'll do that next time. Um, it's been a good night, it's been a good day, let me see, uh, what's my deck manager, I want to see what my win rate is on this deck. Overall played, 46 overall wins, 27. So a little more than 50%. Uh, a lot of these games was me learning. I've I've had to edit it a bunch. But I've won nine times since my last edit. Which kind of lets you see. I've played 12. I've won nine. So I've lost three out of the 12 games that I've played since I edited it last. So the deck's in good shape right now. This is the way we're going to keep going. Until I can come up with something else. But uh, hell yeah, man. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for talking. We will see you guys next time. Peace.